through some snow now that I'm in Mount Washington Valley. There hasn't been a lot of snow up here either, so it is snowing now, but uh, the temperature is 36 degrees, and I'm, I'm hopeful. Well, here at Loon, I just want to take a look at the conditions. They look great. So we'll go back to camp now and get our snowshoes ready because I wanted to go snowshoeing first and get a little exercise out in the woods. We got the camp all set up and uh, we're going to go do some snowshoeing and uh, it's not that cold yet but it's supposed to get really cool tonight and uh, down into the uh, single digit so we'll start out with some snowshoeing and um, we're going up to the Kangamangas and um, I'm not sure I think we're going to do a uh, the rock Rocky Gorge Trail so we'll test that out and then we'll come back and uh, make dinner and then um, Get an early early rest tonight, so. This is the campground host. And uh, he sells you firewood and things like that. And uh, I guess he, he cleans out your site too, if you need him to. He's got this nice tractor and uh, yeah, so he plows everybody out, probably pulls you out if he gets stuck. And he lives in this bus. And uh, so this is his house. Pretty cozy for the winter. And uh, howdy. Howdy, how are you? Good. I, I was just uh, checking out your uh, setup here with the tractor and everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're all set. You stay here all winter? Yeah. Did you want your money here, or do you want to put it in the uh, post? I'll take it here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, I, you know, one last time I have to do it on my hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, I'm on site 47. Yeah. And uh, anyways, I've been up here before. It's beautiful. I love it. This time there's more people, but uh. It's a holiday weekend too. Yeah. So we're we supposed to get more snow, or? Yeah, we'll get we'll get little bits. Yeah. Nothing major. Do you stay here all winter? Yeah. You do. In a bus. Mm -hmm. That's my home. <laughs> Year round? Year round. Oh my god. Yeah. I like your life.
guess it's this way. I still hear the river. So, uh, it's gotta be around here somewhere on the trail. Uh, well, it was here yesterday. Uh, unless somebody moved the trail. Uh, all right, well, we'll just keep going. So this is my final message. I'm lost in the woods. And I just want to tell you all I love you. Just kidding. I'm okay. Uh, I know exactly where I am. Right here is the Pemigewasset River. And uh, I've been following it because I forgot my compass. I left it in a, when I was in a rush to leave. And so I, I did bring food and water. There's always something missing. But uh, anyways, uh, it's getting starting to get dark and I think I'll start heading back. So good to be out here. It's, it's been snowing lightly all day. And whoever called it the White Mountains uh, named it appropriately because uh, there was no snow all the way up until I got into the uh, White Mountain National Forest. And then, you know, all of a sudden there was snow, about eight inches. So, all right, we'll head back and uh, have some dinner. So here's my setup. All decked out. Yeah, he's got his place all fixed up. Like that. Temperatures are warm, 30 degrees. That's nice. It's actually quite pleasant. So, yeah. Nice and homey. Perfect way to end a day with a shot of Jägermeister. After snowshoeing up in the mountains and settled, settling in next to a nice warm fire. Yes, sir. -y. Perfect. Perfect way to end the day. Not bad. So for tonight, I'm reading a chapter out of um, Appalachia, which is a compilation of different stories about mountaineering uh, tragedies and successes. So it's about, this one's about two climbers that sent them out Washington, only one made it back. So. It'll be interesting to find out exactly what happened.
not too bad, 26 degrees. But look at the relative humidity, over 90. So I guess it's gonna snow today. Wow, trailblazer. Make some nice smooth cross country and snowmobile trails and dog sledding.